But what I do want to talk about that came out is David Icke. Now, Andrew, you told me that you had sex with David Icke. Yes. Where did you have sex with David Icke? We picked him up from the eye, from the, we picked him. Uh, you picked I him up. I picked up from Amsterdam with film equipment. Right. Um, on a boat. On a boat, a big massive. Whose boat was that, Chris? Charles Napier of Azimuth Trust. And the Azimuth Trust is uh, or it was, was? It was a. It went. It offered children in care boating holidays. It particularly specialised in very young disabled children. Okay. Now you was on a boat. You was picked up at Amsterdam. Amsterdam with three film crew and a couple of a couple of. Um, it was three of us were me and there was. I went with the film crew. I was carrying the stuff and. Okay. And stuff this was making uh, um, like um, um, pornographic movies, yeah. child child pornography. The big that set off in England. We couldn't. They want. Mm. You couldn't. Go so uh, you you it's went, in, you went to the Isle of Wight. went from England to Innocent. Then they picked the camera people up from. They picked the camera people up first. Went over to Amsterdam to get supplies and stuff and pick up. And then you went to the Isle of Wight to, to pick up David Ike. And he got on that boat. And he was on that boat, one hundred percent. And there were disabled children on that boat going on holiday with Napier and his trust. Yeah. Okay. It's a Big massive, beautiful, old wooden cruise boat with great big masters, and, okay. and then we went to the Channel Islands. We went around the island of Sark and just spent a couple of days around there. Yeah, let's stick on David Ike, okay? Where on that boat did you have sex with David Ike? Uh, down in down in one of the cabins, down in the it was big like the cabin place where all, everybody goes and stuff like. It's tables in a table in it and yeah. eat in it and it's a cabin and eating you can eat in it and it's a t- cabin it's like a table but with chairs around and it's an old-fashioned right. sailing ship you know, okay an old-fashioned sailing yeah. ship now so you how many occasions did you have was it did david ike penetrate you with his penis it was there all three days and yeah i did get, i got buggered by him yeah how many times did david ike buggy you on that trip, uh, he only did me once, but he did younger lads. Younger times, lads, like younger any lads. disabled kids? There was all, there was only disabled kids there. So he was having sex. He had I sex with you. Old, I was probably the oldest kid. And there. how old was you then? I was under. I was under sixteen. Right. Yeah, we were under sixteen. It'd been about fourteen. About fourteen. Mm-hmm. So David Ike's had sex. He buggered you there, right? And then uh, bearing in mind, you were really. The equivalent to a rent boy, because they I gave never you money. see myself as a rent boy. No, I think I wasn't given money to be there. I was given money to help with the filming. Right, because I was living in Amst- a bit of Amsterdam on and off through big trafficking and stuff like that. You know when we th- we, we was talking about these um, these children that were on the boat, the disabled children. You said to me that most of them were Down syndrome. Some of that. Half of them were Down syndrome. Half of them were Down syndrome. Uh, did David Icke have sex with the disabled children? The Down syndrome child he did, yeah. He had, was it a boy or a girl? Boy. It was a boy. One with boys, he didn't touch the girls. Okay. Okay. David Icke. Okay, we're going to run it up there. We've got a lot more interviewing to do with Andrew. It's, um, you know, you can see... Um, what sort of condition the life that he had as a child has has left him in, and why why are you coming? I know you're one of the top witnesses of Fernbridge. You've also been threatened by Fernbridge about putting this into the public domain. Mm. They told you not to, and then they said that you can. They also told you not to speak to me or Chris Fay. And they says I can. And then they said you can. So they that you can, you can't. You can't, you can. Then they stopped me from talking to other media and stuff by taking us away and stuff and putting us in hotels. They, and, and also, and what's coming as well, people, this man was taken to the Isle of Wight, went to Parkhurst last year, paid for by... Fernbridge. Operation Fernbridge, where they got him to have a meeting with Sidney Cook in Parkhurst. 